a Cards with Michael production. Fast breaks. What's up, YouTube? Cards with Michael here. Back with another Zendikar Collector box break this time. Uh, on my Facebook group, I just did a little mini raffle to determine who actually is going to win the box toppers. And it ended up being uh, Ace and Heath. Heath, we'll start with your six packs and let's get straight to it. Thank you guys once again for sponsoring. It's been a really fun time. Uh, for those wondering when I'm going to be doing this giveaway for the booster pack, by the way, from box number six, which I'll put a link up here in case you haven't checked it out. Uh, the giveaway is kind of like a small giveaway and I didn't even publicize it too much. You have to watch the first four minutes of the video to understand how to do the giveaway. Once again, it is just for a single little pack, a little draft pack. Um, but yeah, I will be doing that giveaway uh, this weekend on Sunday. So that just stay tuned for that. That's all. Just a little small little thing. All right. Here's got six packs for you. And since we are doing a box break, we do need to randomize these, you know, just a little. All right. Let's randomize, randomize, randomize. And that should be good. Heath, we got six packs for you. That's half the box. Thank you so much for sponsoring this. Really, really appreciate you. Let's get to it. Here we go. Commons and uncommons. Our first extended art. A coveted prize. All right. Shatter Skull Charger. Foil rare. All right, all right. Not too spicy. Prowling Felidar, a showcase, two showcase cards, and a Needle Verge Pathway. All right. Pillar Verge Pathway is on the other side. McKinney Ox and a Thieving Skydiver. Foil Extended Art. All right, Heath. It's pack number one. Let's go to pack number two. I guess we'll keep track of the Foil Expeditions if we do open any. Uh, once again, we are always looking. Always on the lookout for uh, what we're calling the Seven Expedition Challenge. Here we go. We've got a Mythic Jace Mirror Mage. Foil Mythic. All right, all right. That's something. Something. It's not nothing. Here comes our showcase cards. A Scythe Cat. Ox. And a Phylath, a World Sculptor. All right, all right. And a Spitfire Legok. And a Legion Angel. Foil Extended Art Rare. What about... Oh. An angel plant token. All right. Pack number three. Let's get to it. C4 Stalker. I like the art. Resolute Strike. These guys go on an adventure. And here's our mountain. Luminarch Aspirant. Dora McKindy. Showcase cards. Una dos. Another pathway. Crag Crown Pathway. Oh, let's show the back. Timber Crown Pathway. And a Crack Plate Bailoth. All right, all right. No expedition yet. That's okay. You know, we're, we're expecting one in every three packs. But, you know, box six, it's really caused me to, like, um, like, my expectations are just so unaligned with reality nowadays that I'm, like, uh... I'm just trying to get back down to earth, you know? Like that that box really, really changed my perspective. Um, I really thought these were gonna be a little bit more seated so that at max you would see three and you know on occasion you would see um like zero, but most of the time you'd always get one and two. Which I think is still the case. Like, you know, it was like a three percent chance that we got what we did, so I don't know. When are we gonna see it again? Alright, here we have another mythic, Drena, the last blood chief. Alright. Mythic Extend Art, Skyclave Apparition, Foil Rare, Standard Frame, and our Showcase Cards. Alright, got another Mythic here, Morag, Fury of Akum. Alright, alright. And a Branch Loth Pathway, beautiful, which means we got a Boulder Loth Pathway, Foil, Borderless, Juicy, Wonderful, and Into the Sleeve. It goes. This is definitely one of the hits. Hey, I refuse to to not believe that. If it ever becomes not true, I don't wanna. I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know. <laughs> All right, two more packs for you, Heath. Please get there. Please get you some goodies. 
Please. All right, here we go. And, you know, we kind of got you some goodies. We got you some Mythics. Um, that Boulderloft Pathway. Oh, so pretty. You shine. Here we go. Bright Climb Pathway. All right, so three pathways in these five packs. There is Grim Climb Pathway as well. And boom. Whoa! We did get you something good. Look at that. Look at that. That I love it. First time I've seen it, Misty Rainforest, likely the most valuable expedition. Uh, that and Scalding Tarn kind of, you know, they, they take turns. But I'm really glad we opened this. Congrats again, Heath. And thank you so much for sponsoring, trusting in me. Can't wait to see what you get for the second box topper. Uh, the way it works is I do a mini raffle, right? And uh, the name at the top of the list, each pack is one entry. The name at the top of the list gets you the, uh, the the more valuable of the two box toppers. And the name of the number two gets the other one. And if there's a tie, the name number one gets that priority. All right, so we got a Murkwater Pathway, which is a playmat of today. And Showcase 1, Showcase 2, Valicate Exploration, sure. The Fledgling. And another Kaza Royal Chaser, which was actually what the extended art was, so... Don't really like that type of duplication, but it is what it is. All right. Wasn't too bad for six packs. Getting that Misty Rainforest, it really makes up for a lot of other things. So congrats again. That's a spicy pull. Uh, you don't really need to hit a lot of expeditions when you're hitting Misty Rainforests. I think they're probably in the 150 range right now as of this video. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see where they go. We're we'll probably going to do another video uh, that just talks about the finance aspect, uh, the pricing aspect of the expeditions. Uh, I've taken a lot of data points over the last couple of weeks. Um, I'll tell you a little spoiler. The, ex the expectation is everything's going to go down. And we'll use Double Masters borderless cards as proof. All right, here we go. Gary, we got your three packs. Okay, there's only been one expedition so far in this box, so still lots of potential. Akiri... Master of Winds, Showcase Cards, Scoot Swarm, Showcase Foil, and a Master of Winds again. Oh, I, I, I don't like that. Someone mentioned that there's like this duplication issue or collation issue. And I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. But okay. Master of Winds or Foil. Extended Art. Rare. And here comes pack number two for Gary. Description of Abundance. A Pathway. Foil. Rare. All right, one of my favorite arts, Lava Glide Pathway, standard frame. Showcase cards, Lotus Cobra, that's a beautiful card. All right, whoa, I skipped a card, I'm so sorry. Oh, I skipped a Jerby, or Yerby, Jerboa? I don't know what it's supposed to be called, but our foil, extended art rare, uh, is this Andu Inversion, or Andu Sky Runes. All right, all right. Okay, and we got a cat beast here with an insect on the other side. All right. Last pack, Gary. Can we get you an expedition at least? Because you're not getting any of the non foil toppers. Ooh, okay, all right. Uh, Seagate Reborn and Seagate Restoration. Very, very nice card. Mythic Extended Arts. Glass Pool Mythic, all right. Another dual card, one of the best arts. Just look at those arts. What is this? Johan Greenier. Oh, so gorgeous. Here comes our showcase cards. One, two, a Kazandu Mammoth. All right. That cool Kazandu Valley card. All right, all right. And oh, I was going to slow roll, but no slow rolling, right? We're going to. <laughs> right? No slow rolling. Get that expedition. Get it. Get it in the sleeve. All right, Gary, we got you something at least, you know? There it is, Celestial Colonnade. I've already talked about why this is one of my favorites, but basically it's like the fact that there's waves that also look like wings. Is it just pure wings? Oh my God, it might be wings and not waves. Whatever the case, it's a cool card. I'm a big fan. Congratulations, Gary. We have now hit two foil expeditions in this box. All right. So about average. And on to the next.
Eduardo with the one pack snipe. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh my gosh. I keep opening these packs a little bit poorly, so I gotta like <laughs> like dissect the pack basically. Alright, there it is. Here we go. One pack snipe. Eduardo will be making a reappearance in box number 16. This is just him being a bro and helping out fill this box. And we have a Myriad Construct, Extended Arch Rare, a Maul, the Skyclaves, Foil Rare, the Bayloth, the Geopede, a Shade, and all the Marbles. Come on now, a Foil, Extended Art, Myriad Construct. All right, all right. And you hate to see it. I mean, I don't think Myriad Construct is going to be the most valuable card. Um, and I just, we keep seeing this, this, this weird collation of, of rare where the foil extended art rare is either the non foil extended art or it is um one of the foil standard frames and that repeat is just a little annoying most of the time because uh it's always a you know a janky stuff. all right here we go ace we got two packs for you let's see what they are here we go got our commons and uncommons of course and oh so pretty that royal plains here we have a thieving skydiver a kiri fearless voyager oh man what if we get another a kiri foil extended art nahiri heir of the ancients look at that art look at that card all right all right a little mythic action sure and hey that's big money i mean you're not going to see too many of these um especially right now so i think you know Getting one of these at this point in time, Ace, is, is pretty good. I'd encourage you to try to sell it before more collectors are opened. But right now, the foil commanders that are extended art, this is the nicest version that you could possibly get. It's a nice little upgrade from the standard frame that you'll get in the commander deck. So, Shinazi. And it's not a bad card either. It is, of course, a Lord of Rogues. And, um, you know, you get to draw a card for uh, dealing combat damage, so it's, it's just pretty good. It's just pretty good. A double mythic pack. All right, all right. All right, let's put these right here before I forget about them. And on to the last pack of the box. Can we get that third expedition? Can we do it? Let's see. Got a foil. Oh, that's a really good mythic. Lithoform engine, all right. And Valakut Exploration. Our showcase cards and another pathway, beautiful boulder loft and branch loft. Some of my favorites, actually, my current favorite, still my current favorite. All right, and what do we have here? Boom! Whoa, that's actually really, 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 really nice. So that's two back to back mythics in that last slot. No expeditions, but still borderless foil Nahiri, heir of the ancients. That that's a pretty good one, guys. Not gonna lie. We did see that duplication here, right? We did see a normal Nahiri, and then we saw um, this foil Nahiri. Although the foil is a little, the foiling isn't that great. You guys can see, like, it's a little dark to, for me. Maybe it's a little too dark, actually. But, you know, shiny is shiny. So hopefully that still has some extra value to it. Let's go ahead and sleeve this Lithoform Engine 2. It's a very spicy card. Very, very spicy. I didn't realize how good it was until someone started breaking it down to me. Like, like look, man, four mana for this artifact, sure, sure. But all these things, all the little things you can copy, it's a very, very flexible card. And it's a very powerful card. All right. We have two non foil expeditions. The first one of value is going to Ace. Second one is going to Heath. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. First one. Boom. A black. Cleave the cliffs. All right. Second one. What is it? Oh, what is it? A wooded foothills. All right. So it's almost guaranteed that this wooded foothills is more valuable than black cleave cliffs. This is the first time I've seen a wooded foothills. And uh, so foothills going to ace. Heath gets the black cleave cliffs. And uh, thank you guys for watching this box break. We're not going to do this too often. I, I prefer to break the entire box for one person just so I'm not using a little raffle and then you know having to split the box 
But uh, if you you know if you're more interested in kind of this pack sponsoring, then do reach out about that as well. Um, but otherwise, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I will be doing more of these, believe it or not. And uh, yeah, until the next time. <laughs>